Oh my god. The igloo of solitude. You, my dear boy, are the fucking man. You hear me? You are the man. I've just watched your video and jeez. That's that's what that's what I've been wanting. Someone to finally step up there and say, look, you guys have got it all wrong with this dude. Okay? Yeah, he's been negative in his reviews. There are some things that I might not agree with him about or what he said. But, you know, if you're basing... If you're going to base... Basically, what, what he's saying is... Don't judge me so quickly because I've, I've, I've um, given bad comments on certain episodes this season. Okay? How many videos have I done? How many reviews of Smallville have I done? Okay? When it comes to like the, 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 the season breaks, the mid-season breaks for example, every time I do a review of one episode of that season, I ask people, send me your video, send me your episodes that you want me to review. People tell me what they want me to review. Okay? But obviously as of late, in season ten, you know, this guy this guy knows exactly what I'm talking about. He he is I didn't ask him to do the video. I didn't say to him, I didn't send him a message or anything to say, oh please, I need, I need help. Can you please try and drive it through these people's heads that what I'm saying is that, yes, I've been pretty negative in my, in my reviews as of late, but there, ha there is a reason for it. But they're not getting it. I don't hate Smallville. I don't hate Clovis. If you guys think I hate Clovis, you need to watch my review of Superman issue 704. Okay, that was done like what last week. Watch that video because that particular issue is focused primarily on Lois. Her life, where, where she is now, where she's been, where she thinks she's going, what she's expecting from life. You know, you think I'm against Clovis. No, I'm not against Clovis. What I'm against is how so far in Smallville, in, in season 10, They've been put on a massive pedestal. They've been put on a big pedestal. That's all I've been saying. We, you know, and obviously there's fillers in in, in there as well. Storylines that haven't matched up. As I said about season nine, the plot from the word go was pretty smooth. It was pretty smooth. Yes, we had we had some close moments in in season nine, but it's not like season ten, whereas where so far every episode has had a focus or at least two or three things to do with Clovis and then obviously there was the Clovis sex but you know I'm not I'm not gonna get into it I want to thank this dude for what he said I really do I want I could personally shake your hand right now if it was possible seriously dude I could just put my hand through the through the screen and just shake shake your hand because awesome that's what it was awesome so seriously thank you and if you want to see his video it is now on my channel I've put it as the main feature video and it's going to be up there for a long time to come because I want people to watch that video and realize that what this guy is saying my god it's like it's like we were in sync and I didn't even have to tell him anything so and I'm sure that even my evil twin the human scorch will be appreciative of that video as well that's all I'm going to say and anybody else with, with who, who, who know me, who have seen my reviews, who know what I'm like with my reviews will also see that video and think, damn, this igloo of solitude dude knows what he's talking about and I swear to God he does. So again, thank you and good night.